everyone. Welcome to Weekend Project. This is Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop. Thank you very much for joining me. We are working on block nine of our Christmas quilt. Very excited about this. Lots of custom blocks going on here. This one is a free one. It's actually by uh, an artist I'm actually having a, um, a workshop with very shortly. Her name is Lorna McMahon and this is one of her free blocks on her website. It's called uh, Penguin Pyramid. So Fresh Quilts is who is is her. You can find her at .com. And, um, so this is one of her free ones. So I just, there's a 12, a nine, and a six, and you just stack them on top of each other and make a little pyramid, but we're just gonna do the 12 inch one, okay? Cause that's the one we need. So I printed out just what I needed, just for the 12. I've got my background, your yellow, your white, your red, your black, and you're just pretty much gonna construct your penguin I follow the instructions. So I have not put one together yet, but I did put the little center bit of his bow tie together and the bottom of where his little feeties are just, just to get like a little, a tiny bit of a head start. Okay, so we're gonna continue on from this angle here, since I put the tiny, tiny little bow tie, this little section right here together. Now we're gonna put the other sides, the bow sides, okay? So it has you putting a white piece on the red and then sewing down on an angle and then sewing down here on an angle and then you're trimming the excess off, okay? So we're gonna wake up Mr. Nomi here. And I just put a little pin in, in the direction that I knew it needed to be sewn, just so it, uh, it's easier for me to, instead of just marking it, right? Okay, so just do a little back stitch. Put your pins in your pin cushion. And then go the same on the other way. Make sure you line it up. Use your fingers and your pins to hold it steady. Can't believe there's only like three more blocks after this. I'm very excited to get this quilt put together. Okay, so there we have our little, two little pieces that we've sewn. So when we flip it, we have the one side of our bow tie. Okay, so that's one side. We will trim this, but I'll sew the other one first, okay? And I just chose the white that I have in here and the white that I have in here as my as my background, trying to kind of keep some of the blocks together. I couldn't find any of the blue that we used for Manny the Snowman, so uh, I don't know, maybe that was the last of it. I think that was pretty much the last of what I had of that stock. So I'll, I'll border it out with a little bit more of this blue and then that'll tie it all together. Oh, so let's go in the right direction here. So the other blocks, the other one, the next one I have is, is one that my uh, sister-in-law, Krista, she's also created, but I've kind of added my own little flair to it. She gave me some bells with a bow, but I'm gonna use bells with holly instead, so. Oh, I'm always changing things up. <laughs> but it's really simple and I can uh, easily give you uh, it was just hand drawn, so and it, it will be all just hand drawn, just own little artsy fartsiness going on here, but you're more than welcome to go find something printed off, trace it onto your um, your stabilizer and go from there. So there's the other side of our little bow tie. So now we're gonna trim like it says. Tr trim close to those stitches, but not too close because you don't want to lose all your work, right? Especially when you go to flip it the other direction to sew it together with the center, okay? So there we go, put Mr. Tie together. You don't have to have the tie, you could actually, in one of the blocks he was just uh, plain white, but uh, I don't know, hey, let's have him dressed up for Christmas. Okay, do I have that right? Yes, the pointy section is going right to the center of the little bow. All right, just sew down one side, then grab the other side, do a little flip, do a little sew. All right. Thank you all to those new subscribers. You guys rock. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So there's a little bow tie. Does it suit me? Hello, cute donut. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll move on. Okay, so now it says draw a diagonal line across the wrong side of square B, which is this, I believe. 
B, which was two and a half. Yes, it is. Okay. So we'll draw a line on the wrong side. of it. It's, it's the same color on both sides. It's just broadcloth. So I'll use my disappearing ink. Okay. And then want to use my, oh, I'd already had it pinned here, but that's okay. Okay. I'll take this one off and put this one on. I was ahead of the game and didn't even realize it. Okay. So make sure you have it on, that it's on the angle that you need. Okay. Place it on the end of the N rectangular and sew along the diagonal line as shown in red. Trim to one quarter seam and press open. Okay, so we will sew along that line. Her directions are very, very right to the point and precise, so you, you can't seem to really get anything wrong, at least from what I've seen so far. I'm looking forward to my workshop though. She's got some stunning quilt patterns. My goodness, the quilts that she's she's made. It's just gorgeous. Okay, so there's our little piece. That ends up being the top part of the little penguin head. See? Right there? Right there. Perfect. Okay. So now that we have that, we can put the rest of our penguin piece together. So we have our bow tie and we need our bottom. This is his belly, I guess. And then we'll do his face. Okay, line these up. There we go. We're pretty much building his body from the center out. It is some little pieces though, that I have to say. There's uh, those little, what is it, one inch by one and a quarter inch? That was, I thought my machine was gonna eat it. Where's my, oh, here it comes. Where's my other white piece? Okay, so that's gonna be his face. C bit. Okay. So dressing him up. Dressing him up for Christmas. What should we call him? He needs a name. He's got such a bow tie. Okay. Call him Pigu. <laughs> Have you guys ever watched that show? Oh my gosh. My son was obsessed with it when he was younger. Pingu. Great. Okay, so we have this. Now we're gonna put on his side bits. Okay. So building up the side of the penguin. If you need to put pins in, go ahead. Cause like I say, some of this fabric is really kind of tiny. And uh, some pieces of, depending on what fabric you're using, could be very slippery. Okay. I, I had some, um, chaos going in the shop clearly. I had some houndstooth black with black velvet. I thought, oh, that would have been made an awesome penguin. And I thought, well, maybe not so much later. <laughs> it would have been very fur fur everywhere, especially as we were trying to cut it. So, okay, just use plain black, but a good, nice quilting fabric. So some of this, the lighter stuff, some of it is just um, broadcloth, but all the other stuff, like this is flannel, actually. I chose uh, some very textured yellow for his beak and feet. Give him some style. Okay, so now then we'll put his head on. The top of his noggin, anyways. And then we'll put his feet on. And we're just building him out from there. It's really, really easy. Okay, pop his little toes on. Then I'll flip to the next page because I think I'm done that page and we'll figure out how to finish him off. So, hopefully, you guys are getting your shopping done or at least your lists made to either pick up your crafty stuff to make something. So how's your little penguin coming along? Check him out. Okay. All right, so next page here. Now this says, because we want to work on the blues and the yellow, so I think we're doing his beak right here and probably his feet, because they look about the same with the C and the F and stuff. So I think we're making three of those. I think we are right. Mm hmm Okay, so we need one, two, three, and one, two, three. Three, did I lose one? Mm. Oh, it's the big one, silly girl, and three of the little blue ones, the bigger blue ones. There we go. Okay. Throw the bits off to the side. All right, so now we need this. 
and then up in this corner and then you're going to draw your diagonal line from here to here okay and if it's pretty much in each corner there's one for the bottom and another for the other corner okay we're going to put in a little pin in the direction we need to sew okay and this one goes this way and this one goes this way alrighty and we'll do all three of them at the same time Very windy out there today. I think all the trees are bare. Sad to see, but it happens. At least this time of year. I have a neighbor down there who's already got his Christmas lights up. <laughs> That's me giving the look. <laughs> like for reals. All right, now trim that off to your one quarter seam allowance. Okay, don't cut off the wrong end. You'll be crying later or crying now when you realize you've done the wrong thing. Like I said, sometimes it's always not sometimes what to do, it's what not to do too. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna build out our little penguin. So that's gonna be his beak. And then we're gonna have our other square on the other side, okay. So here and here, okay, so we gotta build his bottom wings and then those are his feet. Okay, so our wings we need to build out as I've marked the center of the five inch by five inch square. We're gonna sew on either side of this line and then we're gonna cut on the line in the center to give us two half square triangles, okay? So that line is pretty much where the edge of your foot runs with your seam allowance to give you the proper one. Okay. And then flip. Do the same on the other side. Yeah, I've never done a workshop before, so this is very exciting. Alright, now just cut down the center. And then you have your two half square triangles, okay? And then from there, we need to add on to the bottom corner of the black, and then sew down on an angle and then flip because that little black strip ends up being his wing, okay? We'll do the same right here. And we are almost done, this cute little penguin black. I like looking for the free things, okay? Oh, hold on, I just wanna make sure I'm doing this right, so that, was his wing, I'll be trimming there. That's his wing. I want to be sewing across there, okay. And always go back to the pattern for reference. Don't, don't just wing it, you know, that's when you end up with boo-boos. And you're like, ah, crud, I should have looked at the pattern. So you can go on either way, just as long as you're sewing that line from edge to edge creating that wing of the penguin. Let's come up with a name. I'll leave that to my niece, Sarah Lynn. You come up with a name, okay, Sarah Lynn? For our penguin. Hopefully she's watching. <laughs> so right now he's just penguin. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna cut these little bits off, okay? to give us the wings. All right, now to build up this block. So let's work on the left-hand side of him first. So we got the bottom of his shoe, or his foot, sorry, not his shoe, and then his left wing, and then we'll put the blank blue square because that's up in the upper left-hand corner, all right? The blank blue square goes right up here. Okay. I 
And does she does say to press open, but for for time's sake, we've uh, we just you know we do it our way, <laughs> the wild and crazy way at the wild quilt shop. All right, line it up, and we've got half of our penguin, or more like two thirds of our penguin, put together. And thank everybody who's watching and who has subscribed and is uh, at least enjoying the little shows here in the quilt shop. Okay, looky, he's coming together. All right, so now for the other part, we want to make sure we're doing his beak, which is, an, oops, there goes my pen, but I don't need it anymore. Okay, and we'll put down his wing and then his other part of his foot. Okay, so let's go wing to foot. Wing to foot. <laughs> Sounds like he's speaking a new language. Wing to foot, hoo to hoo to hoo to hoo to hoo to hoo to. Just so, right? Just so, Lorelei. <laughs> it's like, what sort of candy is she sucking on in the quilt shop? <laughs> I hate her to hoo to hoo to candy. <laughs> All right, let's put the beak on. <sighs> she was just thinking of that pingo show. <laughs> It spoke a different language. Okay. Now put these two pieces together, which is the middle, and then the right hand side with his beak. You can give him a button for an eye or just do some uh, a cross stitch with some yarn or, you know. Just do some a little embroidery thread. And we have our cute, little, handsome penguin and a snorry dog. <laughs> Just out to sleep. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me for this weekend project. This is block number nine, penguin yet still to be named. Thank you. <laughs> We're not hurting her. She's literally just sleeping right there. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me and we really really appreciate all the subscribers and the views and anybody who shares or posts or what have you. We really do appreciate that at the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop. So keep doing it and we love to hear from you. So take care and we'll see you next week for block 10. We're doing uh, bells and um, holly. Yes, bells and hollies. Bells first, hollies in the background. It's up here. It'll come out. Okay. Thank you everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.